everybody, it's Bunny. Are you ready for 2019? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you have any resolutions? And if so, what are they? Today, you guys, might be the birth of a new series on my channel. I really miss when we used to do Pinterest challenges. Don't quite remember what we called them, but unfortunately, Pinterest, like Tumblr, it's kind of dead. It's a graveyard over there. What's going on? But do you know what's alive and thriving? Life hacks. <laughs> I figured in place of testing Pinter test tests, we could instead test life hacks. Now, I've been seeing one floating around on the internet and you guys have actually tagged me on Instagram in a ton of these posts. I feel like it's a life hack that's very near and dear to my heart. That is where you take a water bottle and curl your hair with it. Now, I've seen this life hack floating around after the Dyson Air Curler came out, which we tried that a couple of months ago, which was also a failure. But what this really reminds me of and what I think it's duplicating is the air curler, which if you guys have been very long-term Swap family members, then that device will sound really familiar to you because it is indeed the birthplace of Does This Thing Really Work? That was our very first device that was an as seen on TV device. I've seen a couple other people saying why the air curler or the Dyson air wrap didn't work for them is because the barrel or in the air curler's case, the bucket was not deep enough to hold their super long hair. I went on the quest to find like the biggest, tallest water bottle that I can find. What you need if you're going to attempt this hack at home is a water bottle, a Sharpie, an X-Acto knife. Be careful, don't slice off your fingers. You're also gonna need a hair dryer. We have my little gator buddy here. And you're gonna need a diffuser. Up until this very moment in my life, I thought these things were useless. I didn't really understand what they were for, but today we're gonna try new things of all assortments. The very first thing that you are supposed to do is to cut off like the top of the bottle and since like I said I'm trying to preserve most of the length I'm just going to cut it off like right here when it starts to curve. I don't think you have to be like too exact about this but I'm gonna try and get a decently straight line. Who else is watching the Twilight Zone marathon today on sci-fi? That is truly my favorite part of New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. The other thing that we're gonna do, which I've seen people place it higher, lower, whatever in the bottle, um, but we're gonna have to put the diffuser up to the bottle and then trace around the nozzle to cut a little opening for the diffuser to fit into. I've seen most people start with towel damp hair, which is what mine is. It is freshly washed. I've got a line. I've got a line. I feel like this jagged plastic might be a hazard to my fingers or my face or my hair. We have to be dedicated to our YouTube craft. And what would a YouTube hack video be if there wasn't a little bit of accidental self-injury? Uh, all right, I'm just chop chopping away. In hindsight, I feel like I should have cut this before I cut this, because now poking into the bottle, it feels a little less sturdy, like it's easier to collapse in on itself now that there's no top. If you guys are gonna attempt this at home, cut the side first and then the top. We are ready to rock and roll. We got a hole, we got a hole, we got hair. Normally, there's about a one inch rule for success with pretty much any curling device or curling method universally. I am just going to section off a one inch section of my hair. Just so we're not distracted, I'm going to pull the rest of my hair up. Now we have one inch of my really gross hair. You guys, I don't know if there's ever been a time in my life when I more desperately needed to have dead ends cut off. So if it looks tangly and gross, you know why. But until Guy comes back to visit me, my hair is just gonna look like a yucky poo poo mess. Yes, look at that. Perfect fit. What you're supposed to do is deposit your hair into this. And I'm honestly wondering if it's going to work better 
just simply for the fact that it doesn't have a hole cut in the bottom. And I don't know if you guys remember that from the air curler days, but I really felt like, particularly for me, a person with longer hair, my hair would just go right through the hole at the bottom. All right. Whirling around in there like there's no tomorrow. This is definitely better than the air curler, which did tout to me a hurricane for your hair. Even though I never really understood that, because isn't this more like a tornado? A twister? Some of my little hair fragments are popping out. I do smell melting plastic, which is a little disconcerting. So I'm gonna turn the heat all the way down because the last thing I want in my life is burnt plastic scented hair. Turn it all the way up. Maximum. I'm in Oh my gosh. Freaking holy cannoli Batman. Look at this nightmare that I've made. But it's a gorgeous nightmare. Oh my gosh. Okay, this looks like a rat's nest, but that is my aesthetic. I'm shocked that it even worked this freaking well, it is definitely a little tangly, but look at that! Oh my god, now I know how I can achieve, you know, at least some sort of a beautiful curl post-apocalyptically. I did see a lot of people who tested this hack literally just shove one half of their hair in here and then the other half. But you guys know normally I am attempting to achieve more ringlety curls. I find that the tighter the curl, especially the longer the hair you have, the longer that the curl is gonna last. Big sexy curls don't usually work on my hair because as soon as I just stand up and live life for five minutes, like all the big sexiness has fallen out of my hair and it's just kind of flat, a little bit wavy. Let's try it again. Now, the only thing that I could see would kind of be problematic for this is that you don't have the option to do multi-directional curls, which is usually what you do, you know, with a curling iron is you curl inward and curl outward so that they look more natural and they'll be more voluminous that way. This is already way better than I expected. <laughs> And sad to say, way better than the air curler. Let's go. Oh no! <laughs> why did it do that? That's exactly what used to happen with the air curler. Now I know why. I'm silly. Um, I turned it on high instead of turning on uh, low speed at first. So that's definitely probably why. Let's try that. There we go. There we go. Hit, hit, hit. Oh, okay. Maybe if I point it more down. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm having flashbacks to five years ago, six years ago. When did we first start? Does this thing really work? I'm just gonna put my hand over the top to try and at least keep the hair trapped inside. I don't know why it's doing that now. I don't know why it worked so well the first time. There we go. All right, we just had to try different things. Oh. Literally popping out of the little hole there. Oh, you guys, this this one is just kind of making a really, really tangly rat's nest. Like that's what we have the second time around, which unfortunately is not as impressive as this front piece. Okay, there we go. I guess it's like every other strand of your hair will cooperate. Okay, kind of a mess. I don't know. Like it, it definitely comes out very tangly. I didn't really curl at all, which is crazy. I thought this one was gonna come out really good again because the hair actually stayed inside the bucket. Maybe it's because this hair is a little bit drier. I usually always get comments. Um, if I try something with damp hair, everybody thinks I should try it with dry hair. If I try it with dry hair, everybody says it should be damp hair. So I'm kind of damned no matter what I do. Also, I was trying to do heat first and then a blast of 
cool or cold because that's what the Dyson air wrap technology really is, is they say it starts out hot and then you do a cool shot blast, which is supposed to theoretically help the curls stay curled longer. Did anybody really have much luck with that device? Anybody I've seen review it like just didn't? Ah! Really quick, I'm just gonna dry this side of my hair and then we will test it on a couple of completely dry strands. Shove it in the bottle and let's see what we can get. Ah! It seems like we are beginning to kind of get a curl to form, but it's still just really, really messy. Be a little bit cautionary because the bottle does get very, very hot. And I was momentarily concerned. I was like, wait, am I like melting my hair to this bottle? Because at one point in time, like my hair just stopped spinning at all. And I kind of strongly don't recommend doing this with dry hair because I kind of thought that maybe it would make a prettier curl, um, but it really just absolutely created a rat's nest. I'm still so sad, you guys, because I feel like for whatever reason, we had just the right amount of magic on this first front section. And I mean, it didn't make a perfect curl, but if it could replicate this same thing time and time again on my whole head of hair, I would almost recommend doing this for fun. I don't think I could do like half a head of hair at one time. I don't know. I'll try and shove it in the bottle. Let's see what that would look like. Trying to get it in there. Okay. That's pretty much every strand of hair besides the pieces that we already curled. So let's just try it. No harm in trying. I think it's too much hair in there at once. It's just drying, but not spinning as I'm sure you guys can see. Oh, you know what? The other thing I wanted to test that I've seen people do is to kind of like spin the hair already, which I guess is a way, you know what, we're gonna try this and we're gonna try and spin it the opposite way because maybe that is one way that you could create um, counter directional curls. Let's see if this makes a difference to kind of already start the hair off in a curled or twisted formation. Wish me some gator luck. Maybe this last attempt will work. I feel like when the hair is curled up, it doesn't really twist around in the bottle. I don't know why that would be. I almost thought it would twist around more, but hopefully you guys can see there's hardly any movement at all. It's certainly not like cycloning or twisting around. Um, it's just kind of moving back and forth. Oh, there we go. All right, that's doing a little bit now. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Every time I take my hair out of here, it just looks like a wadded up mess. <laughs> oh, but that actually, if you are going for a more like bouncier kind of like romantic wave and not so much a curl, that came out, I mean, pretty decent. Definitely better than my last couple of attempts. Still just not 100% sure that I'm ready to tout that this is something that works. You guys, I kind of don't know what to say about this. It does get points for me for being ingenuitive. Is that the word I'm looking for? And if you do just have, you know, water bottles or whatever, or maybe a two liter soda bottle lying around the house, and you get bored and you just want to try it for yourself, then, I mean, there's really not anything lost here. That is kind of the appealing thing about life hacks is they suggest that you can do all these amazing things with just stuff or junk or trash that's laying around your house. I can see the appeal of these things and why you would want to try them. I'm not a huge fan of this. One of the reasons is I feel like you can just curl your hair a lot faster with a traditional curling wand. Also, the only concerning things to me is I could see how you're maybe damaging your hair just a little bit because like I said, the water bottle does get extremely hot. So I feel like maybe you're trapping your hair at higher temperatures than even a curling wand might be at. I'm gonna see if it shows up in the footage because if not, I'm just gonna sound like a raving lunatic. But I swear a couple times, it's almost like I saw like smoke emitting from the plastic, which 
maybe I'm just being dramatic, but definitely the longer that you hold your hair in this and you put continuous heat onto the plastic, like it does kind of have a melty plastic smell in this room right now. So I can see where that too might not be the healthiest of all outcomes, but there you go. I tried it, so now you don't have to. Just let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down below. I wish y'all the happiest and healthiest and safest of New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Thank you guys so much for all of the support in 2018, and I can't wait to come back 2019 more refreshed and ready to create fun new content for you guys. Thank you so much for being here, for being you, for sticking with me. Um, if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Um, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!